Hello, so today we're going to be looking at the ECU Master Black and more specifically how to update the firmware on your ECU Master Black. So let's do this. Right, so as discussed, we are looking at the ECU Master Black and more specifically how to update the firmware on your ECU Master Black. So few things to start off with. Number one, we presume that you obviously watched the video on how to download the software, that you do have the most up-to-date software. Everything is wired into your vehicle. Your ECU is plugged in and it is powered up. So you can see in the bottom corner here, I have showing connected on the connection status over there. And preferably, or I would highly recommend that you put a battery charger on the vehicle, just in case you don't want the voltage to drop and the ECU to switch off during the updating of the firmware. Okay, so those are the three things hopefully you got. So your most up-to-date software, ECU is plugged in, powered on, and connected via your USB cable to your laptop. And number three, put a battery charger on the battery just to make sure that it doesn't die in the process of updating the firmware. Right, so the actual process is really, really straightforward. You're literally gonna click on File. You're gonna click on Upgrade Firmware. You're gonna scroll down right to the bottom. So you can see the numbers go up, 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 and we're on two underscore one five two. Click on Open. Everything's gonna shut down there. It's gonna tell you that you're upgrading the firmware and it's in progress and you're just obviously gonna let the bar run all this way through. While that's busy happening, if you are just logging on for the first time and you wanna see what firmware that you are on, if you look down at the bottom of the screen over here, you'll see it says firmware 2.152. This issue has obviously been already upgraded to the latest firmware. I'm just going through the process again, but that's how you can tell exactly what version of firmware you have down at the bottom there. And again, we'll just wait for the green progress to go there. But once that's done, it effectively updates the firmware and you'll see that everything reappears again. Now, normally I would advise doing this first before you start going and messing around with the map, simply because there may be features that you wanna play with that are in the upgraded firmware version, and then it's just gonna be a case of you can't find them because you haven't got the latest firmware. So if you are doing this yourself, first thing I would do is once you get it powered up, before you even start looking at playing around with the map and the settings and all that type, is go upgrade the firmware, make sure you've got the most up-to-date firmware on the system so you have all the options available to you that you do wanna play with. Uh, obviously, if you've bought like a harness and an ECU from us, um, we test every harness on a running engine so you would have the most up-to-date firmware and a base map on the ECU ready to go. All right, but hopefully that's been helpful for you guys. I know we had to redo it because the first one we did, unfortunately the screen capture software didn't actually pick up the opening windows. So it was kind of useless and you couldn't really see what you guys needed to do. But um, yeah, hopefully this helps. Uh, again, thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll see you again soon. And again, if there's anything else you guys want to know, if you've been through the list of the ECU Master videos and there's something else that you'd like me to go through, again, please comment below or send us a message on Facebook uh, to Phoenix Engine Management. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.